I wanted to see the final chapter. Emily Castor of Granada Hills explaining why she arrived at this mountaintop mid-August 2022. It's in my DNA. Before we go on about this extraordinary memorial service, you need to know a bit about Emily. She's the first to tell you she's kind of different. For others, a soothing sound is the ocean waves. For me, it's the sound of cars whizzing by on the freeway. <laughs> Emily is a super volunteer. I enjoy leading by example. Almost every day, Emily volunteers. She cheers runners at fundraising races. She's an annual star of the Granada Hills Christmas Parade. Where else can you find her? It depends on the day of the week. <laughs> on Fridays, it's the ER at Providence Holy Cross Hospital. On Thursdays... So I'm at UCLA Emergency Department. Where she stocks the hospital's geriatric cart. Magnifying glass and the crossword puzzles, are, they have big letters and numbers. And visits with seniors waiting for care. I cannot make them better, but at least I could be there to listen and, and bring them comfort. On Wednesdays, Emily picks up trash with volunteers cleaning communities, or VCC. And every Saturday with VCC... I'll be on the freeway. The 118, a.k.a. Emily's Happy Place. So we actually walk down with our helmets and our pickers and our bags, that, and we pick up trash, uh, tires, uh, empty cups. So you find all kinds of stuff. In fact, that's where I found we found Norman. Emily is referring to this, a box on the side of the freeway. And it contained human ashes. So I took it upon myself to take the box and I actually brought it home with me. The name on top, Norman Scott Jones. With my determination, I thought I gotta find out who this Norman Scott Jones is. Emily contacted the crematorium, the coroner, and the Devonshire division of the LAPD. Basically they said, well, just, well, we could take him and put him in basically in the lost and found. Well, that wasn't. So brought him home. He stayed with me almost a year. I had him right there on the, on the table. Norman was there to celebrate holidays with Emily and her family. I decorated him with, um, like on Valentine's, hearts. Emily's research revealed Norman had no family, but had a best friend. And when his friend got dementia... Basically, throw him out on the freeway which is how Norman and Emily ultimately crossed paths. I don't know this person, but he was obviously a human being. VCC's decision, they would become Norman's family, and... As a group, we're gonna send him a farewell. They packed up Norman, headed up the mountain, then hiked to an undisclosed location. Much more beautiful than the side of the freeway. With VCC members watching from behind her, Emily sat on the mountaintop and opened Norman's box and watched his ashes blow in the wind. It's in a restful place. The tears are bittersweet. They deserve to be set free. Whether she's volunteering in a hospital, at a parade, on a mountaintop, or on the freeway. I hope to make a difference. I really do.